Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to Friday's lessons. This is the last online one because on Monday we'll be back at school. Yay! Um, so here is your mental math, the nine times table. Pause the board and have a go. Okay, when you unpause it, these are the answers. So pause it again and check. And then today we are looking at decimals again, but we're looking at decimals and patterns in decimals. So, here I've got my place value, I've got my ones and then my decimal place and my tenths. And I've just listed the tenths. So we've got 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. So I want to know what comes next. It is not 0 0.10. Because actually, 0 0.10 would go into the hundredths column. Now what happens is, I've shown you here pictorially, these are tenths, remember? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths. I want to know what one more tenth would be. So I'm going to draw my next tenth. Ten tenths, if you remember, actually makes one whole. Ten tenths makes one whole. So if I write another tenth on there, it doesn't make ten tenths, we now convert ten tenths into one whole. So how that would look, one would go in the ones column, because that is a whole number, and you could put the decimal point in the zero if you wanted, but you don't really need to, it would just be one whole. And then what would come afterwards, so let's just look, in this pattern, we've got 0 0.36, 0 0.35, 0 0.34, 0 0.33. So what we're doing is, let's just put it on the board, we've got 0 0.36, 0 0.35, 0 0.34, 0 0.33. We're going down, like we're taking something away. But what are we taking away? We're taking whole numbers, or we're taking tenths, or we're taking hundreds. So again, place value is very important here. Put it above each one. Now, I can see the ones are staying the same, the tenths are staying as a three, and it's the hundredths that have been taken away. So there's going to be six, five, four, three. So the next number would be 0 0.32. Then it would be 0 0.31. Then it would be 0 0.30. You don't need that. It would just be then 0 0.3. Now these are a little bit blurry, so I'm going to leave those. I'm going to look at your questions. So this is your work today. So here you've got a pattern. Again, put your place value above each one. So we've got ones and tenths here. Now we're looking for the next two. 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. These are quite simple here. Now here, we've got 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. You can't have 1.10. What does that 10 tens convert to? We've just spoken about it. 10 tens makes a whole, so it's the next whole number, and then you're adding another 10 as well. We've got 2.84, 2.83, 2.82, 2.81. We continue to go down. That seems pretty self-explanatory. This one looks pretty easy too. Okay, carry on the number pattern. 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, 7.0. Because I can't put 6.10, so that 10 tens converts to one whole, so that's about 7. Okay, I think the rest should be okay. Okay, so it says here, what number is 0 0.1 less than 8.8? If you've got 8.5, this is your ones and this is your tenths. 0 0.1 is a tenth, isn't it? Because if you look, 0 0.1 is in the tenths column. So it's asking you what's one tenth less than 8.5. Well, you're not going to take away from the ones, you're going to take away from the tenths. And the same here, we've got 3.14. Put your place value. Okay, and it's saying what is 0 
one more than this number. So again, face value. If we do the face value, you might go wrong. 0 0.01 is actually a hundredth. So you need to add a hundredth to the hundredth column, not to the ones and not to the tenths, but the hundredth column. Okay. And then you've got other questions here. So it's important to make sure that you put your place value above the numbers so you recognise which numbers changing. And just remember these key rules that 10 tenths equals 1 whole. So if you've got 0 0.9, the next number's not going to be 0 0.10. It's going to be the next whole number because it'll be 10 tenths. And then remember that 100 hundredths also equals one whole. So if you look in the hundredths column, if you've got a hundred hundredths, it becomes the next whole. So if it's 0 0.98, 0 0.99, you're nearly at a hundred. When that becomes a hundred, then you will have one whole. Okay? And then if you add another hundredth to it, it would be 1.01. 1, 1.01. 1 1.02. And so on. Until you get to 1.98 and 1.99. Then this will go on to be 100 again. So then your ones column changes. So that would be 2.00. And then you add another hundredth, so it goes in the hundredth column, 2.01. So look, 0 0.99, you can't put 0 0.100, so that hundred then converts into one whole, and you've got no tens and no hundredths. You add another hundredth on, so one goes in the hundredth column, and you've still got the whole, so it's 1.01, 1.02. Here I'm demonstrating it as 1.98, 1.99, that 99, when you add another hundredth, to it will convert into a whole, so it'll be 2.00. Then you add another hundredth, it goes into the hundredth column, 2.01. Have a go at the pattern. Some of them are straightforward, some of them you will need to convert into holes or tenths. If you're stuck, mention the blog. If not, have a fantastic weekend, and we're really looking forward to seeing you on Monday. Bye, guys.